Good morning friends. In this video, we will discuss about Mealy missions. Now in the earlier videos, we have discussed about Mori missions, properties of Mori missions and how to construct a Mori missions with few examples. So we will follow the same strategy for Mealy missions. So let me explain the how to represent a Mealy missions. You have Q, you have Sigma, you have Delta, you will have Q naught, okay. You have an output alphabets and you have Lambda for the output function. So this is the way we will represent a Mealy emission the same way we have represented the Mori emission also. But what is the basic difference between Mealy emission and Mori emission? You will understand now. So the here Q represents set of states. Q represents set of states and it represents the input alphabets. The sigma represents the input alphabets. What are the alphabets you are taking as an input? You have a transition function as this is follow the de deterministic finite automata Q on some alphabet you have to go to a state Q. Okay. Now Q naught is your initial state. You will have only one initial state and O is represents the output alphabets. Sigma represents the input alphabets. O represents the output alphabets, set of output alphabets, what are they? And you have a lambda which represents the output function, which represents the output function. What is the output function of a more emission? The output function of a more emission is from Q, you will have an output. For each state, you will have an output. Whereas in the output of a Mealy mission, the output function of the Mealy mission from a state on taking an alphabet, you will get an output. So the output function of the Mealy mission is from a state by taking some alphabet, you will get an output. Okay. So this is the Mealy mission representation. You will have set of states. You will have input alphabets. You have a transition function. As they follow the deterministic finite automata, the, pro, the transition function of a deterministic finite automata and Mealy emissions, more emissions is same. And you will have only one initial state. You will not have any output states because not output state, you don't have any final states. It will be there in DFA, but in Mealy emissions, more emissions, they will concentrate on generating the output. They will not worry about whether the string is accepted or not. So you will have output alphabet, you will have an output function. So if you see the difference between the Mealy emission and Mori emission is only the output function. The Mori emission output function is for each state you will have an output. Whereas Mealy emissions for each state on an alphabet you will have an output. For a better understanding let me take an example. Q naught I am in Q naught. Okay. If I am generating 0, I want to get the output as 1. If I am generating the input as 1, I will get the output as 0. So this is what if you see that, if I see the same thing like Q naught, you will have 0 like this, then you will go 1. If you have 1, means if you have 0, you will go to some state and you will get output. If you see that in a more emission, for each state you will have a output, whereas you will not have an output for each state. For each state on some alphabet you will have an output. So Q naught on 0 it is generating the output as 1. Q naught on 1 it is generating the output as 0. So this mission is a mealy mission for calculating the 1's complement. If you want to verify you can verify. If you give 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 if I give I am in initial state Q naught. Okay. Q naught on 0 where I am going to the Q naught and generating the output as 1. Now Q naught on 1 I am in state Q naught only everywhere I will be in the Q naught state only because there is no other state. So 1 I will get 0, 1 I will get 0, 0 I will get 1. So if you see that for output for input 0 1 1 0 I got the output as 1 0 0 1. Now if you see the difference 
in a more emission if the input length string is n output you got it length string is n plus 1 whereas a mealy emission if you get input length string is n output string length also will be n if you see here i got the i gave the input as 0 1 1 0 whose length is 4 and i got the output as 1 0 0 1 whose length is also 4 okay so you, you need to remember the two differences between the more emission and the mealy emission one is the output function and another one is the number of length of the output string in a more emission you will get n plus 1 mealy emission you will get only n so with this example and this one i hope you have understood how to represent a mealy emission and how to construct a mealy emission but if you don't worry if you does not understand how I constructed a mealy mission, I will discuss with few examples so that you will understand the concept in a better way. Thank you so much.